What's up, everybody? I'm Hoser. This is Paz Albana. <laughs> and this is Kegger Cat. My shit was open already. So this is Paz. <laughs> and, uh, the local rapper? Or what do you call it? Musician? Like artist. Local <laughs> artist. Musical artist. Yeah. Somewhere around. And uh maybe rabbit. <laughs> he's a, he's also uh, involved with uh with Slim, who was our guest about three episodes ago. Slim the Sage, shout yes. out shout out founder of awesome, BHM. Yes. So. And uh so yeah, so you're in it you're in BHM with him. Yeah. So um, basically the other side. <laughs> <laughs> the other member. There's three there's there's three members in BHM, so it's Slim, then it's I, Paz, and then you got uh, Enzo, who is a producer as well for BHM. I believe that's it. <laughs> <laughs> what projects you got out right now? Oh, okay. Or so recently, well, all right. So recently I had released a project. It was uh, called Conscious Ignorant. Uh, it was a 11 track, uh, basically mixtape, you know, if you want to consider it a mixtape, <laughs> some people were like, it's, a, it's a mixtape, you know, it's one of my, it's actually my first solo mixtape, you know, Slim actually has three, I don't know if anybody knows this, it's crazy, <laughs> you haven't even peeked it, you gotta, you gotta chill, look into that, you know, and just other music, so on my end, this is one of, like, one of my first, uh, projects itself that I released it was uh, <clears throat> I worked on it with Enzo I pretty much recorded all tracks with them except two which were with those two were with Tony Slums uh, I'm pretty sure Slums mentioned yeah. him uh, he basically is the head of Empty Lot Carnival which has other members to it you know so <clears throat> Ah oh, man, hold on, this thing. <laughs> I fucking blunt here really, I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh well basically uh there was a, a couple beats that were from Tony Slums on that project as well. There was another one from a uh, uh, homie uh Wa, uh who works a lot with uh young manners, really talented artist as well. Um and basically, you know, it was a it was a really crazy project there was also a beat from another guy his name was d like i'm shouting out because like <laughs> i don't want him to be felt left out either because I, I don't even think he realizes i actually used that beat even though it got released and everything you know he said it was cool with it but i don't think he even realizes i dropped that shit <laughs> <laughs> it was a it was a track called cannivore it was a cannabis nice. track so uh, yeah, I forgot to turn on the light. <laughs> it's dark. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I don't even know if they can see us the first half. But <laughs> we could do it again. It's no big deal. No, no, it's cool. We can keep going. The lights edit. are on. I will just edit it out or something. <laughs> I mean, I won't. Back there, I forgot to turn on the lights. So hopefully, you can see us now. I'm pretty sure if you were paying attention, you at least heard what the fuck I was saying, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, I just, yeah, speaking of the beat, do you come up with your own beats? Mm, or you have someone else? No. I mean, do I know how to make beats? I mean, I, I can beatbox. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, those uh, beats are actually uh, fucking created by... Some are majority of that, like for example, Conscious Acre, for uh, that project was majority of them were from Enzo. The other part were from the other ones were, <coughs> excuse me, were from uh, Tony Slums. So uh, I recorded, like I said, it was like most of it with Enzo, and then uh, I mean they basically come up with those beats and chop up, you know, everything. Uh, or if not, they just really creative on some some wild shit, you know. Like 
But no, most of, most of the time they come up with the beat. You know, like, on Enzo's end, sometimes, like, it depends. I'll be like, hey, yo, like, I push it. I'll push. I'm, I'm already pushing to people. I'll be like, yo, let's do this. <laughs> and then it annoys people. But it, it would create some crazy shit, too, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, things that it's just like, oh, this is interesting. Okay, let's try this out. Like, yeah, no. so. <clears throat> to answer that question, no, I don't think it's How about the lyrics? Are they yours? Oh, yeah. The lyrics, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no Ghost Rider. No, no, no. Like, I will be honest, though. Uh, I've been honest all this time. So I don't know what to say. But uh, the, that track, La Mirada, I had one of my coworkers uh, basically add one line to it. And it was crazy because she came up with that line. And I was looking at her like, you fuck, why the fuck are you going to say that? And you're like, I, you're like ah, it's crazy. And then she's like, God, that shit's going to hit. Yeah. And I was like, all right. You know, like, you know, so I could say, you know, in between everybody, like how we make music, we help each other out, you know, yeah. into like helping develop ourselves. Sometimes, you know, I can say, could be a little overwhelming, <laughs> but it's mad love for everyone, and it's just we, we, you know, we help each other to grow and learn to just like be better than we really were, like even like a day before or something, yeah. and like <clears throat> it just like I don't know, like I just keep to writing my own stuff. Sometimes there's there's been some tracks we've done, I've done freestyle, and then like I've put out also. One with Slim, one with Denzel. I don't know if there's another one, but <clears throat> usually, I mean, usually, yeah, it's our own material, our, our, my own material, you know, like on that end. Uh, you're putting on some shows. Hey. Okay. Fridays. <clears throat> Let's turn this ring. By the way, shout out to Diego on this ring. So we just fucking yeah. rolled up on me and fucking gave me this ring grand. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so Friday. So basically, uh, I've been throwing shows for a while. Like I've had a couple shows, uh, at, you know, like at Twilight. A lot of a good amount of people. I don't know if a lot of people actually know, but we're usually always like doing shows. Like we were doing a lot of like performances out there, like at, at the the Twilight venue over on Main Street and Los Central. And then from there on out. We basically started putting on more of our shows. You know, I started like, you know, I had a cannabis fest once. Fucking lit. <laughs> had a disco there. Had two discos there. Shout out to them. And a good amount of artists before me. You know, uh, and then from there on out, I had a, I had one show. Uh, I had a couple shows, but there was another show it was called Sundays. That was one of those shows. I was like, all right, you know, like. Let's set up this a little bit different. Let's try something out. Like, you know, I ran that event. It was pretty cool. It was really dope. Especially on a Sunday. Really unexpected to even have that many people even like, show up. It was really dope. So from there on out, <clears throat> uh, Fridays was kind of like a thing that came along with it. I was like, well, Sundays is one thing. I was actually trying to originally have it Saturdays, you know. Uh, so I may even have, uh, actually, I think I'm going to have Saturdays, you know. You can make it a festival and it'll be weekends. No, definitely. <laughs> like, that's what I've honestly been leaning on is throwing a festival, you know. There's some people out there who are in the works of doing that very thing. And we've talked also about, like, you know, collaborating and somehow putting on a fest, you know. There's, I mean, there's shows happening. I mean, there's that Inferno show that's coming up. Mm. Uh, God. When is that one? Yeah, I think it's like May 8th. I may be wrong. Okay. I'm blown as fuck. <laughs> yeah, okay. Sometime but in May, though. Sometime in May. I know it's around those days. I think it's like May 10th or whatever, you know. <laughs> like, I have to check Instagram. <laughs> anyway, uh, that. You know, there's going to be a couple of heads. Of, I think it's the NBA writers and as well. Trash Mob is going to be at the shout out to Trash Mob. God, it's fucking dope. Emilio. Fucking Emilio. We had Emilio on the show last year. Emilio is fucking... 
The food was like a fucking <laughs> sensei. Like, how do I put it? The food was just like. Yeah. I like it though. <laughs> you know, like, he's really cool, you know, like, he, I mean, he's in the empty lot carnival and everything. He's kind of, like, also, you know, like, really taught me a lot on um, just certain things he's even mentioned and, like, with just things, you know, it's, yeah. just, it's pretty cool. Then, uh, um, the fuck was I talking about? <laughs> no, Emilio is a, like a sensei or something. Yeah, Emilio was a sensei, but what was, why, why is he a sensei? Why? What was before that? Though? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yeah, well, love good stuff, huh? <laughs> wow, that's a good ass week. <laughs> um, damn. So, so, anything else that, besides the. Fridays and Chinese. Oh, yeah, the Fridays. You know, like, so basically, uh, coming back to this whole shit on Fridays, because I don't even know why I sidetracked for all that other stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm going to come back to it. I'm going to come back to it. But, yeah, so I ended up hosting Fridays. So it was like, all right, well, let's see what's up on basically doing a Friday show. Oh, yeah, I remember. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It was an Emmy Rider show that I was talking about. Okay, yeah, yeah, Emilio, he's gonna kill that show. <laughs> <laughs> Trash call <laughs> shots. Dude, there's some other heads on there. But... <laughs> Sorry. I'm so... Okay. There's so, flashbacks. Flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so basically, the Friday show, um, I basically ended up having a couple of heads show up. And, you know, it was a. It was it, it was a fundraiser for Bourgeois to basically help him out. Um, yeah, sorry about that, Bourgeois. Yeah, man, like it sucks and everything. In the end, though, uh, we ended up doing that show. Not a lot of like it was a good amount of people who came through. I will, I want to say that, you know, kind of expecting a little bit more, but I don't really have expectations. But <laughs> it was kind of like it was interesting. Uh, however. You expected then, more than the non-expectations. Yeah, like, it was like, but it, it's, it's, it, it, in the end, it was actually really dope. Because, uh, fuck yeah, Imperial Valley newspaper fucking ended up coming through. And I was just like, you know, one of the reports is just like, hey, yo, dog, I'm gonna fucking interview y'all, you know? I was like, okay, cool, man. you know? Yeah. Uh, following that, I had another Friday show. So I've only kind of had, like, two. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of making it, trying to make it more, you know, like something to actually put on people from the valley yeah. who do hip hop, you know, because nice. there's a lot of band yeah. stuff and that's no disrespect. I love band shit, you know, yeah. I fucking, I love fucking saying like that rock, the fucking ska, the fucking yeah. punk, the everything, you know, yeah. but like I, as well. You know, there's not too much hip hop. Like, yeah, there is a lot of like, you know, like shit going on with everybody doing their own thing. But like, that's the scene itself. Yeah. You know, like really presenting it out there. It's like it's not as much as how you know, like yeah. bands. You know, like I remember we were fucking performing with fucking bands. Yeah. Like, you know, me and Slim going out, yeah. fucking mm-hmm. like the whole fucking metal bands, <laughs> fucking hardcore, like crazy yeah. shit like fucking punk and I'm just like I'm like yo this is crazy like and we're the only like hip hop heads like performing with yeah. them not like and there's still everybody else who's still performing and everything and that's dope that everybody's you know doing it you know yeah. and we should be like we should be like putting it also more out there like you yeah. know hey you know we got this sound that like it needs like you know it's going to be heard you know yeah. like like eventually like everybody just got some wild shit you know, like, but, you know, some, like, a, as a matter of fact, like, I had a little bit of a help to organize, you know, certain events with a uh, holy uh, name that uh, goes by PWC, you know, uh, on that end of things, kind of like, you know, be like, all right, you know, this is, this is kind of like what we should lean on, you know, and since it's like, uh, after, you yeah, Oh yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Yeah. So like after that, like, you know, Friday show, I was just like, well damn, this shit really, really, you know, really worked out, you know? Yeah. It got, it got like, 
the scene out there like, oh, yo, like, the Valley's doing hip-hop, some hip-hop shit, you know? Like, and it, it's been doing the hip-hop, you know? Like, everybody's been, like, you know, there's, like, like exact, you know, like, uh, I don't know, I'm too old. <laughs> <laughs> like, so, but everybody's kind of, like, been doing their own, like, thing already as it is. How long have you been with VHM? It's like, I think VHM formed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you guys yeah, all formed it together? Well, Slim kind of came up with, like... And that's why I asked you, because earlier when we were talking thing. about Slim, you said he was the founder. Yeah. So yeah, 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 yeah. So he came up with the whole VHM. So when he presented it to me, he was like, Black Hoodie Mafia. I was like, alright, that's cool. Because, you know, like, he was, like, you know, he explained it. He was like, okay, you know... It's like we wear hoodies, yeah. you know, you're up, you're up to no good, that's what I mean. I kind of, kind of thought about the mafia part, though. <laughs> 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 but I was like, but nah, it's just good, cool. Yeah. Eventually from that, though, I kind of was like, alright, well, how about, I, I came up with my own type of thing. It was like, with Enzo, I remember, it was like, beyond high motives, you know. So from there on out, it was kind of like, alright, how about we just, uh, you know, this is like it means anything. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. means anything, and that's where Slim really yeah. went off on that. Is uh, like it's dope. You yeah, know? yeah. It's whatever, my, it's like, whatever you want it to mean. <laughs> yeah. On my end, though, I, I lean a lot more on the beyond high motives, and I I, I say that because uh, not many people know me. I do get high a lot. <laughs> you know, like, and I don't really condone the use of it, but you know, like, it's still like, you know, everybody has their own thing and it's just like don't let don't let the substances be you you know you don't need any of that you know however getting back to this and it is legal yeah that's like, I would say a lot <laughs> however like back to the thing it's just like I forgot <laughs> <laughs> you're talking about how you get high <laughs> yeah basically you know and well, you had us like on the you're talking about the VHM, and, like VHM, like VHM, like the Young High Motors. Yeah. Basically, it's like you know, like being that I'm like always oh, high. I like I tend to just see beyond that. Like, what's beyond that motive? You know, like what's the real motive in everything that we're doing? You know, what's like what's the end goal? You know, yeah. and like that's kind of like on the theme that I've I've been on. You know, uh, I sometimes. I, I guess I'm like too much of a visionary on things, like, but the crazy thing is, it's like pretty much laid out there, you know, it's like, it's just really the manifesting of it, you know, like, and from there on now, you know, like, that's what, like, to me, BHL was more leaning on, so Enzo was as well, got it, like, Enzo had already been making music with uh, slim for a while. They have been making like tips, so it basically it was all right. So it's just you know with BHM. So you know we were making music for a little bit, but things kind of got sidetracked on on certain things, and from there on now, uh, Enzo kind of was uh, on his own doing some certain things. You know, just going through life and doing certain things as we were we all were, uh, and from from there. Uh, we ended up working with uh, with Tony Slump. So I want to say like 2017 was when like around that time that we were like really like at the beginning of it we were really working with like Tony Slump. Like all right, so like we you know was the track here and there you know with Slim. So so and when I met Slim when I interviewed Chico Suave, you guys were still a relatively new band. Yeah. New group. Okay. Yeah, like. We were we started doing shows. Ah, I, have, yeah, I, I think I interviewed Chico Suave in 2016. Yeah. So like I at think, the end, I think, November. I think so they were just starting at the time. Yeah, because I had been doing shows probably since 16. Right. I want to say, actually no, since 14. I uh, had done one with Enzo, but we we you know to do like DJ. I had like turntables, still have them. Like, right. yeah. And uh, I used to be on that. Like I already was like on the whole music stuff, you know. Like, yeah. and even with like the rap before it, but like I ended up as well changing to the beats and everything. But a lot of shit happened to my equipment <laughs> that is just 
lows. <laughs> so from there on out, like it wasn't up until like kind of Slim. Slim was gone for a while. So when he ended up coming back, we started working. You know, we were hanging out. We started working on music. You know, he kind of like it's crazy. So <laughs> but like this still like still gave me that push to be like, all right, you know, like let's you know we're gonna do this. You know. I was like, all right, we're, we're doing this. So we ended up doing a collab tape. So it was like the whole BHM. This is where it was really, right, like, really, really going in. Like, so we had worked with Tony Slubs. I don't remember, I don't recall how many, I think it was like 10 tracks on that EP. I, it's on SoundCloud, on our uh, Beyond Heim. I think it's Black Beauty Mafia, actually, SoundCloud. But it's on there. And uh, we ended up, you know, working on that dropped it and from there on now you know there's people listening to it it was just all right and we had done some show uh, we had done like a couple shows actually before that drop i remember and because we had some other tracks with uh enzo that was kind of like before enzo you know went on his own with things so from there on now uh you know shows started coming around so it was like house parties like oh you know like is like, yo, you want to come by, fucking, you know, do a live set, and we're just like, oh, shit, and it was crazy, because, like, alright, I don't, I don't put it in a way to brag it, but, at, at that point, when we started, we were told, you know, don't rap over your song, and that's what, I'm gonna stress on this as well, <laughs> guys. Like, you know, because like, it. like, it's 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 it sucks. Like, it doesn't. Okay, okay. It it does, but it doesn't. You know, because one thing is like, if you have it at a low, you know, where you have it at, a, at the low, you know, where it's like, all right, you know, it's still wow, and like it has some people, you know, still going with it to certain tracks, but you know, honestly, it's better when you don't have your vocals on it like because it's more of a live set like not to even mention that you fuck up I mean people will know you really fucked up like <laughs> if you're rapping over your shit and to be honest it's like it's better when you do it live like so from you know we were told like oh you know do live shows like yeah. that you know like just have the ad libs like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> that worked, right? But it worked. It started with it really worked. So we were doing shows with a Chico Suave, like Pat, like one of the members of Chico Suave's pad. So I remember that, you know, doing shows here and there. I I had thrown a I remember I threw a show at fucking this pad in Hopeville and that shit was crazy. The feds showed up. It was wild. Fed. Yeah, it was wild. It was a crazy party. You know. But like all that, all that really came more from a, like I was motivated when I had gone to these couple of shows from the I Eight. Have you ever heard of I Eight? No. Podcasts. I. Oh yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. So they used to do like backyard yeah, shows. So and what, yeah. So he, that you know, Omar, shout out Omar. <laughs> you know, like that food through the wildest shows ever, and since then it was just like, yo, like. Why the fuck are we not doing this mm. shit? Like, you know? And that was, like, in, like, in 2015. Yeah, you know? you're right. So, like, I had done, like, a DJ, sh some DJ shows, yeah. like, in 2014, you know? But they were, like, bum-ass shit. Like, I, <laughs> I, I think those I-8 uh, backyard shows were the shit. Were, were the first, I never got to go to them, but it was the first, like, social media advertisement I got. You know what I mean? Like, locally. Yeah, like, Cause, cause I got invited to yeah, that shit. I was like... he used to send it to, every, like, to everyone. Even then, I wasn't the, I wasn't even a friend and yeah. I got it. And that's how I ended up getting, you know, yeah, freaking friend like, on that. I was but, just like, whoa. But yeah, like, like he, he like he sent it out. He, produ he promoted it really well. Yeah, and like, there's been people doing things like even before him and everything and like that, all, all that's been going on. It's just like you have to look for it. But like when I came upon that scene, when he had fucking bands and hip hop and just like, that's really where I met a lot of the a uh, lot of local artists, musicians, and everything like that I know today and really respect like heavily. Like you know, because in the end, we're really all doing the same thing in a way. You know, we all make music, we all make yeah. this art, 
and like you know we're really presenting it out there to the world so like you know they can listen to it and like not everyone's gonna listen but some people there's gonna be it's like it's not for everybody but it's for those that it is there's a lot of people with talent in the valley there really is yeah there's so much talent what sucks is that there's not enough people to help promote it (laughs) and that and that kind of that that is a little bit true you know like despite the fact that you know like the way that shows and everything really are put out there it's really good but it's not like as crazy or heavily promoted uh this guy he really promoted good uh, for the eight podcast yeah and, 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 and i think if you're still doing that here locally it would help out a lot of local bands now because it's easier now to promote yourself locally even though you're from the valley you can promote mm-hmm. yourself on social media you know and you know soundcloud and all these things that like that get you heard outside of the valley uh so it's a, that, that that's a good thing but usually bands start because of a local following yeah a, and the valley just doesn't have that many people <laughs> yeah like that. you guys need to start like spreading your talents to san diego and Ah, Dad, we, we've been doing yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so, so you're picking up so, fans over there, yeah, too. Yeah, like, yeah. so... Yeah, but we did a shitload of shows here in the Valley. Yeah. I can say that, like, for at least a good-ass year. Like, a good year running. Even until now, we've been doing, like, a good amount. Like, well, I mean, well, actually, the probably the last, you know, month or so, we kind of, like, laid off on it. But, like, I mean, like, probably this month, actually. But even then, I think we still do a show. I don't even remember. It's like days are so big, so right? like I don't even remember. It's like a day feels like a year. <laughs> like, but um, you know, like we still been doing shows like all out here. You know, we kind of like we're like okay, you know, let's bring more people to the scene and everything. We've been like we've been like going out there to like SD to to do uh, shows. We had done one with ho- the homie Johnny D. Shout out to that guy. You guys need to check him out. He's fucking dope. And then we had done that at the Till Two Club. We had to done a show out there. Oh, in San Diego. Like, yeah, in San Diego. So we ended up doing. We've done also a show in Mex. We, I remember we did a show at, at, a, at a club in Mexicali. <laughs> Not our best show, but we did a show at Mexicali. And it was at a club right next to. Uh, damn, it was uh, next to the and. No, 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 no. Rush. It was called Phoenix at that time. I think it's called something else now. But we went and did a show out there. It was weird. Shout out to the good fellas for, you know, like, like having us out there. Do you guys do any Spanish lyrics? I do. You do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I like you, say, you say perform yeah. a mix, so... Yeah, know. like, I mean, that's kind of like my end game is to get like, on the on the Latin, like, side of things. Because, like, I know Spanish. So, yeah. like... It's like, come on, dog. It, it lets you stand out a little bit, right? I have to, yeah. huh? It, it also makes you stand out a little bit from... Like, yeah, other. like, I mean, our mind of, like, our mind of things is like... Let me put it this way. Slim is fucking hard with his fucking bars. This <laughs> is doing everything. And that fool kills it. Like, even, like, his songs are just like, damn. Like, you know? And this is, like, on the BHMs, like, just the group itself. Because there's still the empty lot carnival of, like, the whole thing. Um... On my end, I would say like I'm more of a stage performance, more of a type of person, yeah. more of like a, I'm like out there, like okay, like you want this bust of freestyle, just fucking go, like you know, or like let's fucking like like I go to like a lot of I go to a good amount of like hip hop events. Like so what you're so saying is like you're more of a like not planning it. You're like just you just. Right. Yeah, you go, it's you go with like, the flow. It's just like, yeah, exactly. You, you don't practice everything that you Not do a, out there. Yeah. yeah, like, I mean, if we're going to do a set, like, I could be, like, in the same day. Like, okay, go over my shit. I'm good. Let's go. Do it. Boom. Like, and, I mean, I, it, everything's kind of still retained yeah. to me, you know, like. Okay, yeah, because I, I can see, like, you see, like, some some musical acts or whatever, and even though they, they're interacting with the audience, it sounds rehearsed, right? Yeah. And you're saying, like, oh, I'm just going to go out there. And, yeah, like, and sometimes I, like, and this is this is an interesting part because um, being around bands so much, I see 
like and and also around like a lot of hip hop artists, but mainly seeing bands like seeing how they get a little bit more wild. They get fucking like having people like go all out, watch into their stuff, and like really fucking like you know. And then you see like the hip hop side of things, you know, and it's like, it's like, it kind of it kind of like pushes me more to like. Be like, all right, let's put on a real yeah. show. Like, I'm that type of person. Like, let's put on a real show. Like, you know, we're gonna go up there and we're gonna fucking like, we're gonna Yo, put on a show. Yeah, we're gonna put on a show to people that just be like, I remember we did one for Slap City, that it was one of our most killer sets that we did. I remember as people were just like, it was just a transition of the songs, the way we did everything, executed. It was me and Slim. It was just fucking amazing. Yeah. It was just like, damn, like, we really, you know, did this. It was a good amount of people, too. So, yeah, the range at Slab at City, Slab City. I, I hear that's a great venue here, man. I, I, I hear that this is, like, the, the, the range at Slab City, which is in the middle of nowhere, gets the biggest audience in the valley. It's the shit. It is the shit. I hear it gets shit. up to 200 people a weekend. Yeah, it does. Like, they always have something going on. Yeah, 200 is a lot here in the valley. (laughs) It is. And then aside from that, you got Twilight. So that's basically like, you know, the really main two venues that I can possibly think of right now. Yeah. Oh, Inferno, obviously. But pretty much. You know, Al, also, we had done a... Pentangle is also trying to do stuff. Yeah, yeah, Pentangle. We've done shows at Pentangle. As a matter of fact, we did a good amount of shows at Pentangle. So, you know... Like, Pentagonal don't recognize BHM. I mean, like, there's a lot of things to question. Then. Like, but yeah, we had done a good amount of shows there too. We had we done a good amount of shows everywhere. Except Holtville. It's crazy. Because I know that a couple little homies, like, you know, the young younger generation, they're going to, you know, go out there and do their own show. And it's interesting because yeah. it's like, damn, like, we have not done that. The like, thing with Holtville, yeah, though, is that... It's a little bit different. They don't have like, a venue... They in town, the, the Barbara Worth Country Club is out of the city limits, and the only actual other venue there is uh, Hot Rods and Beer. Is that what they have? Is that what they're, is that what they're having yet? That at? I thought I, they said it was at a gazebo. I think it's like the town gazebo. Or oh, I don't know, but they have a Hot Rods and Beer there. Say that. And Shout out to us, was you guys better peep that show. I don't even know. I don't even know what that is. I think it's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then we ended up. Oh, so. I, 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 yeah, let me get on this SD shit though. <laughs> so, basically, I've been out there searching on my end of things, you know, to kind of like bridge a gap. Not really a gap, but like kind of like, like you know, like have like SD involved with the hip hop scene here too. Yeah, in, in the valley a, was a good thing. And eventually, even LA and other places. You yeah. know, there is a, a group of people out out there. They go by the Hip Hop Wednesdays. They have events out there. You know, they're hosted by Cali, Cali, look, dude, I'm sorry, I don't even know how to pronounce it, I know you're going to probably watch, and if you don't, like, it's cool, but, like, Not even my parents yeah. show. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, you know, like, and then, like, that, that scene out there is pretty interesting, it was, like, when I seen that scene out there, it was, like, yo, this is some hip-hop shit, like, like, what, like, it's not, like, how the Valley really has it, you know? And there's still places out there that have those scenes. So I was just like, dude, it's like fucking L.A. I'm pretty sure it's just cracking you. <laughs> but, like, when I had gone to that scene out there, it was, like, uh, it was interesting. It was seeing a good amount of, you know, different people out there, there you know, good, the different artists, different styles. I was like, all right, this is, this is pretty dope. And, you know, uh, from there on now, uh... A homie actually, you know, uh, ended up getting me connected with a show with uh, the fucking homies, the World Outsiders, or, man, like, I think it's World Outsiders. Shout out to those shows. I still need to get fitted on that stuff. <laughs> you yeah, have a shout out to them. They're really cool. And they, you know, they ended up having me for a show out there. So I was like, all right, you know, I told Slim. I was like, hey. Let's go out there. Let's check this shit out, you know? Ended up doing a show. I remember Verde performed. Dope MC from, like, you know, a girl from SD. And there was a dude named Nemi. Shout out to that guy, you know? And then, besides that, there's still, like, the fucking, you know, the hip-hop Wednesday scene. You got, like, 18 Scales, which is Rick Scales and Rap Quasar. And that, like, you know, like, 
got some some other artists. I had also gone to a festival. Uh, uh, that's probably maybe sidetrack, but I didn't <laughs> perform to. I didn't perform Not the first time, but yeah, no, that's many <laughs> sidetracks. But like, there was this festival that I I volunteered and worked at. It was in Ontario. It was a, for a good amount of like hip hop heads, like you know, like underground MCs, like pretty big underground MCs. Yeah. That there was some that I didn't even realize they were pretty that that, that big that I met. And then people were like, you don't even know who that guy is? I'm like, <laughs> no. Like, <laughs> uh, but I had worked there, and I see, like, you know, the San Diego, you know, crew had actually gone out there. They did a set, you know, and then uh, there was a good amount of heads. There was, like, the Breaking Bread Posse, which is Chewy and Triz. Uh, some big underground cats out there. And there was, like, the Satori mob, and it was really dope. The, uh, the art, actually, the art, the rapper that I met was Elzai. Okay, I'm pretty sure if somebody is a hip hop person and is watching this and knows this, I didn't know that guy. <laughs> and you'd be like the rarest person. And you were. That's <laughs> that's something you should think about. You, you sometimes meet people that you don't even realize they're pretty big, like pretty big, because <laughs> like even artists were like, "Yo, you met him," and I'm like, "Yo, these uh, like these are the artists I look up to," and if they're saying this shit, then I think yeah. it fucked up. Like, <laughs> 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 but it's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I had worked there, and it was just an interesting scene, like, how seeing all that, like, you know, like, how that was happening, you know? So, like, with all that, you know, out here in the valley, now, from the BHM, besides BHM, you got the Empty Lot Carnival, you know? Like, that, that thing, I would say that's more, like, on, like, on the broad end of things. Oh. But there's still the only real people from, like, everywhere. But, you know, you got Tony Slums, you got fucking, you know, he's the head of that shit. <laughs> then you got um, Young Manners, he's fucking, like, God, he's a fucking artist himself, you already know that guy, you know? So you imagine his bars, like, he's <laughs> fucking fire. So you got Milio, we, yeah. we know Milio. Yeah. <laughs> Milio's yeah. Milio a fucking monster. Bring it full cool. circle, Milio. Crazy. Awesome. You got, you know, the homie, you know, uh, fucking New Era, you know, uh, oh, uh, what's his name? That uh, raps with them. Fucking, I don't want to say government names there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, you also got um, what's his name? Fabi, fucking dope art- artist as well. Uh, I think it was like Sower and like G and like, I think there's one more guy, but I don't know. If like, you missed like, anyone, you, you know? did not do it on purpose. Exactly. And that's, <laughs> shout outs to everyone he yeah, knows. And man. that's that's just the empty lot. So. Let me get on Trash Mob. Trash Mob, those guys are fucking crazy. You know, well, I think like, those guys are pretty dope. I, th- like, I think we met them in Yuma. Yeah, yeah like <laughs> what that uh, baby? Like we Trash actually, Mob. we actually got some like you know a couple songs working with them. Like it's interesting. I mean, there's some wild shit about to happen. You know, out there. Then you got other artists out here. You know, you. I'm pretty sure Nipson's still here. You know, shout out to that that, that dude. Let me see him there. Um, you still got like, oh, you got like Frank Carter and his whole crew, Louis <laughs> Louis D, Louis V, fucking y'all motherfuckers got the same name. <laughs> but shout out to y'all, Louis you know, fourth. it's Louis love to everybody, you know, and like you know, there's even cats that don't mess with me, but I still have love for them. Like this is music, and this is like we're all doing the same thing, and it's like we're all, like, we all just should just push ourselves yeah, to just kind of like. like you know, rise like more to it. Like we get connected, and if like on the on the end of things, it's just, like, you know, like connect like the valley scene with this whole yeah. scene. You know, obviously we all got we're all in the music stuff. You know, we got these dreams about touring and everything and making it happen and everything. But like, we also gotta like bring it back to the community and like invest in it and like just you know fucking like, you know, like uh, help and uh, like allow others to even come up as well. You know, yeah. like. And it, it kind of takes also just focusing on yourself and getting, really just handling and getting things done, you know. And it's taken me a lot to uh, realize a lot of things and grow up to it, you know. But, like, being out there, I've been to so much crazy hip-hop shit, like, fest and everything. And it's just kind of like, you know, it's like, man, like, we have this talent. Like, we can be there. Yeah. We we are going to be there, you know, like, because we have that potential. Like, and that's, that's the type of shit that I'm on, that a lot of people, to some people, gets a little bit, like, eh, to them, but it's, like, I, like, I am, I, I, I am a visionary, I did a bunch of fucking psychedelics, bro, like, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, the thing is, that, you know what, everyone should help each other out, 
and, and think of it, you know, if one you, one person makes it out of the valley, we all win. You see what? That one person goes out, he already puts the valley's name There's a couple artists on there. From the, and, from the valley. And they'll eventually invite, they should invite you on tour once they make it big, too. You know what I mean? So that's why one, one, I mean, one of them makes up. They're, all of us should be I, I do understand that. I can say I do understand that. Although it's not really their obligation. No, it's not their obligation. But, saying, but, but it's you, more like I think it would also be more on yeah. the art, like you know, the person themselves. Wait, like how yeah. far you, how what is the distance you're really willing to go? Yeah, yeah. You know, because there's there you know there's people out there who have gone a crazy distance, like real shit. Uh, this dude uh, named Tommy Will. He was from fucking here in the valley. I think I don't know. He says he was, you know, but he was in Arizona. And now he's touring. It, he took him time, you know, it took him like a couple of years, but now he's touring with like Dean Wright, Jerry Benton, you know, it's like big ass cats to me, like, yeah. you know, like to me on my end, like a hip hop, it's like, yo, like, then you got like Eddie Zuko. Oh, yeah. Eddie Zuko fucking, like, you know, went off, really became, yeah. like, really, really blew up, you yeah, know, and mad blew. respect to him, mad respect to yeah. him, like everybody on, yeah. the, on, the, on the whole end, you know. Then you got like other, you know, other heads. There's like older heads who like also have blown up, but like not a lot of people are even aware of that. And that's the crazy thing. Like there is other people who po- like pioneered this whole thing. Like even with the hip hop scene, you know, and like you kind of have to like go back in the whole music and you'll find out like you know like there's people who've been doing all this. You know, and they kind of leave it for us, the younger generations, to kind of like pick up on it and then like you know. It like if we all really worked and helped each other, you know, it like it brings us up. Like for example, exactly. I'm throwing I'm yeah. throwing a battle, the Friday's battle. That's my next event. You nice. know, Friday's battle. Which Friday? I think it's the tenth. Yeah, May the tenth of May. So Friday's battle to me, it's like, well, I mean, everybody rap right? <laughs> you know, like and there's people there's some people who hit me up who don't rap who want to take take this on you know people who don't do shows like that and it's like to me it's like how how much are you willing to step it up you know yeah. and it's also like it's to have fun it's to like actually you know like help us develop more yeah exactly. you know because you kind of also have to be put under circumstances of shit like that when i was at hot fest example i got called i like oh like you know my sister was gassing <laughs> it up with other people saying that you know this fool raps People will also come up to you and fucking ask you, you rap. Let's go. Bars, bars, bars. If I can go back and forth, you better yeah. keep up with it. Things like that. I've, I've been to, like, shows. I, I actually have not been to a rap battle show, but, like, I know where, like, they're happening right now. Like, and I'm actually really interested in going to really people even more of the scene and so everything. Uh, I, be, I went to the beat battle that happened in Brawley, and that was actually really dope, you know? But, like, in the end, it helps everybody also yeah. come together you know because you can't be on some salty shit you know <laughs> people are always going to hate on you and that also helps you develop that it's like some people are going to cap on you some people are going to you know so it's like how in a way it also helps you kind of cope with shit to like be like oh somebody's telling me this you know that how can i you know really cap on yeah. that and also still be on the turn where it's like this shit it's like shit that really shouldn't phase you you know like <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's mad heads got mad shit to say about me. Like, I came to a point where it's like, I can't really let things phase me, you know? Mm-hmm. And it's like, instead, it's like, let's have us all together, let's have fun, let's fucking paddle it out, and let's just fucking, let's see what happens, you know? And even at the end of it, I'm doing my best to have uh, a couple, uh, some couple of heads perform. Uh, I even have BHM perform, like, even us, you know, to do a set as well, and uh, somebody from SD. Um, I'm gonna try to organize that. And Fridays is gonna be more of a thing that still will be happening, you know. Like, so you kind of have to stay in tune with all that, you know. Like, however, you know, like, uh, you know, I, I may end up having it like twice a month, you know. Good, but huh? at this moment, you know, it's once a month to still see how things develop, you know. I don't really like it, talking about it, but it's like. I've had a good amount of people, you know, come out for the first one, even performers, and then, like, there was other people who came out for the second one that I had, like, dope-ass lineups. You have to look at the flyers, you know, because to mention them, I have to turn on my phone. (laughs) (laughs) But, like, the last one was actually G. Rocka's listening party, and I, I think, yeah, it was him and Malik headlined it, you know, and, you know, I had, like, 
uh, producers and I had rappers perform. So was, you know, producers played out their beats. We all got it listening. It was like, holy shit, this shit's fucking banging. You know, and then like you got the rappers, you know, come on, and it's just like, all right, this is dope, you know, like. So you know, this Fridays is more like, okay, you know, we're gonna have a show. We're still gonna have sets, but we're also gonna have a battle. And here's a catch. So if you want to get in the battle, you have to sign up, and it's a twenty-five dollar sign up. You know, it's a little bit, you know, like if you think it's a little bit pricey, then you really need to work on your shit, bro. Like, and I will say that to myself too. I don't even know if I spend twenty-five bucks, <laughs> but in the end of it, if you win, and if it's I have it at eight rappers and eight uh, six producers, although if a lot of people do decide to sign up we can make this shit even wild then like at the moment it's like you can walk away with like 200 in cash for the rap battle itself and if you're the producer you know you could walk away with like 150 so i think you're really making more and at the end of it if you don't win fuck it like so you know shit happens move on let's see how it, it helps you to what you could do to help you develop more to, you know, like, gather people's attention to really fuck with your shit, you know, like, these are the things that even the older heads tell me, you know, and it's like, it makes, it makes sense, you know, like, and in the end of it, like, this will help us develop more, like, you know, it, it will help me even develop more, it'll help everybody develop more, so, you know, this is judged by the crowd, so it's, it's, you know, like, this is gonna be even crazier, you know, and, before we leave, before my camera dies, <laughs> we can hang out after this a little bit longer. Uh, tell them where they can hear your stuff or look you up. Oh, uh, okay. So, Social media. let me so get it back, right? So, yeah, I had dropped the project called Conscience Ignorant. So, by Paz Elpana, me. If you know my government name, you know it. All right, so let's just fuck up. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> but in the end, um, you can actually listen to it on Spotify. Uh... I think it's on YouTube, yes. SoundCloud, Tidal. Crazy. <laughs> then you got it on Amazon Music, iTunes, uh, Google Play as well, you know. Yeah, send me all those links. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, put them on the yeah I'll, definitely, I'll definitely send them. It'll be down there. Um, and uh, So right now, you know, working on the visuals to, you know, release them out. And I don't really like to talk about my words but I might have a little Spanish project nice. soon you know, summer's coming so hopefully that time and if not you know well you know sometime and then oh by the way you also got Slim the Sage he's gonna be dropping a Sounds project fun. uh I think it's IPA Indigo Project he might be theory. coming back on here soon because he, he asked me if he yeah. could come on for uh so he's, new album. he's gonna be dropping yeah exactly he's gonna be dropping a new album uh, pretty soon, and then we're gonna be dropping a fucking BHM tape. So like, I'm gassing the shit out right now. <laughs> <laughs> you're, 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 you're gonna be busy, man. Shut up. So guys, uh, again, thanks wait, for watching. Wait, 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 one more thing, one more thing, right before you cut. Also, Young Matters is dropping an album, and as a matter of fact, uh, if y'all if y'all wanna sign up on Fridays, DM me. Oh shit, DM me. <laughs> Let me know, you know, you just, you know, and we'll see what's up. Maybe we can work on stuff, material. By the way, shout out to this guy, because, you know, this guy's cool. <laughs> you know, I had to mention that, you know. And shout out, you know, shout out to everybody. Mad love to all y'all. And So I hope you're still on frame. Thanks for watching. Thanks till for next watching. Till next time. Till next time. Shut up, bitch. Shut the fuck up, bitch. <laughs> Smoke weed. Thank you. Yes, the camera is still rolling. <laughs> awesome.